Welcome back, everybody, to the next episode of Nino Kuni's Wrath of the Widest of the Witches. We are on our way to Hamlin to guess what? Progress the storyline. Oh, that feels good. I know people have been very supportive of the Aaron's episode, and I super appreciate that, but I also want to just progress the game. How However, if you look at it in a certain light with me saying I want to do all the errands, then doing the errands, sorry for hitting my boom stand, hit, doing the errands is in fact progressing the game. Not the main storyline, but is progressing the game. So it's all a matter of perspective and to keep things positive, let's just say that we're doing a good job and let's go. Go to the Paul Sign Palace and show Marcus and the magical stones and be like, yo dog, these, if you don't remember, right? They don't fit. We've been getting orbs about the size of our fist, and well, if you can't see it, if you notice. Oh wait, wait! Get the fuck out of my body! Get out of here! Got one of these things, by the way. Um, yeah, and I've decided not to use the Toko Toko for sure. Um, the only way I would is if I was able to get a toko, which is the base form, and then raise it up, which would take forever, obviously, because of their high experience needs. Um, because the reason I like to raise things from base form, as opposed to later forms, is because you can miss out on known abilities by not raising them from their base form. Speaking of abilities, off-screen grinding when we were raising up this little guy... Atherion learned a new thing called chop or drop chop and I really like to use it so we've already got some AoEs I'd like to keep him with slash or I want to keep him with slash and burn but we're going to give drop chop a chance um eventually he will get an, an additional uh trick slot and it'll be easy then but you know we'll see we'll see what he learns because he still has one more trick to learn at like a higher level Guess what, your prince, princely, princeliness? We got them stones. The monster's magic stones, so you recovered the map from Kublai? That's right, your highness. We, well, actually, he kind of gave it to us. But I helped you, the sky pirate. He's not, he's not a bad sword once you get to know him. He, he took us under his wing, like, he took us under his wing, like, he even gave us a dragon to fly about. Tidy, eh? He gave you a dragon? Can this be true? It's true, your highness. Tegri helped, uh, Tengri helped us find the three magic stones. We, we, we couldn't have done it without him. The problem now is that they stick the stones back in the monster, and I won't lie to you, we don't have a, we don't have the foggiest. We were kind of hoping you might be able to help us, your highness. Please give me the wand and the stones. I will examine them. And voice acting. Hmm, this is a rather tricky one. Oh, don't tell me you can't help us either. The stones are just too big, aren't they? Well, if there was a mere matter of unifying the sizes of the wand and the stone, my powers would be more than suffice. But I'm afraid it's not only the uh, dimensions that are out of alignment, there's another problem. One that I could lack the ability to resolve. Hang on a minute. Are you telling us you need the wonky sizes you have to worry about? And you're just never flipping easy, is it? I think I've got it. It's just for a moment. When exactly did you get hold of Mornstar? Did we get hold of Mornstar? It was when we were sent back in the past, which means, uh... The problem may stem from attempting to join the Mornstar 15 years past with the stones you obtained here in the present. As long as there is this time difference, so to speak, it may be it may not be possible to unite them. So we need to find more star here in the present, but I thought it doesn't exist. If only were that simple. I had my men search for it, but it seems it has been destroyed. Not a trace of it remains in our time. Hold on, we brought it from the past, so surely it would, it would make sense that it doesn't exist in the present as well. Oh yeah, wait, what? Yeah, Oliver, don't try to understand paradoxes, okay? Hold on, hold on. This is all getting a bit too flipping and complicated for me. There may be one who can help you. I speak of Kulan, of our four great sages. Her, mag her magical powers were the most formidable. So if we can get the great sage Kulan, she can help us with Mornstar? Talking about Kulan, the queen of the heavens, right? She ruled a city the clouds called Xanadu. Xanadu! That place. Destroyed, yes. Jeepers, her city was destroyed? Can it really be five years ago? Yes, it must be. Five years ago, never reached us... Unless that Shaddaa had attacked the uh, Celestial Citadel of Xanadu. By the time we mustered our forces, it was too late. When Hamlin's Airborne Division arrived, Xanadu had been wiped from the map. You have an Airborne Division? I'm, t I'm afraid to I do not know what became of the Queen and her subjects, but perhaps if you are lucky. 
Ah, fat chance. It sounds like Shaddad dealt with them just like he dealt with the predecessor. Swain, please. In any case, it's not within my powers to help you. For that, I can only apologize. Don't worry, Your Majesty. There must be another way. Well, if, if we can't find Kulan, I guess we'll have to try another great sage. Another? Well, Alicia's no longer with us, which leaves only Rashad. Yes, my father should know something. Your father? Ah, now I see where you get your wisdom. Yes, Rashad may be able to help you. Uh, thank you, Your Majesty. Hmm, we're not going to find anything by hanging out around swapping compliments. Let's be off, shall we? Sure, let's go find somebody who can help us. They're out there somewhere. I just know they are. Back to Alma. Now we have to quick stroll and think. What? Okay. So if it's not letting us zoom out, that typically means that something's going to happen as we leave. At least that's how it works in uh, Dragon Quest. Gosh, look at her. Mmm, she looks familiar like someone from the trials, yes? That's not the type of armor you find around these parts. There's no stout for starters. Hmm, there sure is something strange about her. Hold on, could she be? Is it Swain? Is she a friend of yours? Heh, <laughs> yeah, we go way back. But seriously, it's that armor she's wearing. That's what they warned Xanadu. You what? But I thought Xanadu was destroyed. So she's a survivor, she. That's lucky. Come on, Lolly boy, boy. Come on, Lolly boy. Let's go find out our girls and for safe for herself. She looks kind of shiny, though. Wouldn't that make her a ghost? Yep. There we go, spirit medium. Oh, God, that's bright. I hate it. B, can you can you hear me or see me? Of course we can. Why wouldn't we be able to? Oh, there's marvelous. And you can hear me, too. Sure, we can hear you. But if you're using spirit medium to speak to you, it must mean you're correct. And I lost my life some time ago, and you're the first to notice my presence. Well, we weren't going to miss your get-up, were we? And you came from Xanadu, did you? Indeed, the celestial kingdom of Xanadu was my home, and I was changed. I was charged with protecting our queen. But Shadar destroyed Xanadu, didn't he? So I guess you, um... No, I did not fall in battle. I was... I was slain by a comrade, a fellow citizen of Xanadu. Huh? But what do you mean? You said it was correct. Shadar did indeed lay waste to my home. Bean made his way into the inner sanctum of the palace, unnoticed by anyone. And our magic had no effect on him. Even the mighty sorcery of King Zulan was useless. Zulan? But we heard she had the most powerful magic of all the great sages. Nonetheless, it was of no use. She too was powerless against him. Shadar did not take our lives. No, he robbed us of something else. He stole our hearts, and he took the hearts of all who dwelled in our city. He, he stole all of your hearts? Indeed, and without hearts to call our own, we lacked emotion, we lacked reason. And that and that was how we came to pass that. Da, you said enough. We can imagine what happened that, believe me. Shadar will pay for this. What happened that day, I will never forget. Its horrors are forever etched in my memory. That's so horrible to be killed by one of your own people. I, I'm so sorry. Don't pity me. My people still have hope. Hope? What do you mean? Queen Zulan, the Queen of the Heavens, she lives still. Huh? She does, but we thought that... Now that I dwell in the spirit realm, I can feel her presence. I can sense my queen's power. For years, I've searched for her without cease. But... But she is not to be found in this kingdom. I sense a presence somewhere to the north of here, but I sense something else too. An evil so terrible, I fear to approach it. North of here? Do you mean the Tombstone Trail? Hmm, maybe. Time was that there was a kingdom of the continent. Other kingdoms on the continent, and now we're only Hamlin, the odd town or two. But if she's out of the way, we'll have to find her. We've got Tegri, and the Queen of the Heavens is someone to be found, and she'll find her. You mean it? You really mean to search for her? You have my eternal gratitude. Don't worry, ma'am. We won't let Shadar get away with this, what he's done. And besides, we have our own skills to settle with the fiendish scoundrel. Oh, stop you trying to impress her by sounding all heroic. We all mean to... What, what he means to say is, leave it to us. Thank you, most humbly. I'm deeply grat grateful. Ah, I almost forgot. Should you find the queen or any of her survivors from Xanadu, we would give us them this as damaged by the fire that swept through our realm, but is the only remaining proof of my city and indeed myself ever existed. Sure, leave it to us. Obtain the wings of Xanadu. Sounds legit. There's enough of a chit chat for now. It's time we scour our Tamnia and see for the Queen of Kula. So I want to go to that place. Oh my god, I'm getting lightheaded. Ah, talking in all these weird voices is not kind to me. So let's just go zoom to the outer skirts of Hamlin. 
looks like I have a new comment on the YouTubes from... Oh, it's from Anne. Did you do something to the webcam? I don't know what video she's talking about. She's probably talking about um, Eternal Darkness. Because I decided to use black and white. A black and white filter for that one because I just thought it would be fitting. Um, so yeah, for where I've been doing all this grinding for off the Toko Tokos, there's just been this little city this whole time. And I haven't gone to it. And it's kind of a perdida. 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 I don't know. Maybe someone will say it out loud. But yeah, check out my new Let's Play Eternal Darkness. It's super exciting for me to play that because it's a game I haven't played for over 15 years. Who goes there? Ah, I see you're not from these parts. I'm very observant of you. Listen, we'd love to stay in chat, but we're here to, we got things to do. This town has been blessed by a higher power. I cannot allow the likes of you to disturb the tranquility of such a sacred place. Jeez, sorry, mister. We didn't know, but... We're not here to disturb anything. Talk about a warm flipping welcome. This miserable so and so here could do with some lessons of hospitality for my dear old mom. Teach your senseless uh, witterings, I will not let you pass. Be gone, I have important matters to attend to. The sacred ceremony is about to begin, and Queen Kulan will not be kept waiting. Hang on, did you just say Queen Kulan? It's here we're after. Ah, just as I thought, you intend to harm our queen. Well, you shall not do so while I draw breath. No, you've got it all wrong, mister. We're just here to speak to her. Somebody told us that we, she was still alive, the person who gave us this medal. But how? Tell me, where did you find this? We, we met a lady in Hamlin. She was wearing armor just like yours. Can it be? Is she here now? No, she said she, would not, she wouldn't travel north. I reckon she has enough in her plate already. What with her being dead and all? But this, can it be true? Can she really be gone? It seems our friend here is that mysterious woman of some history. I fear she had not escaped, but I cannot allow my feelings to come before my duty. Tell me, what business have you with the queen? There's something we need to ask her. See, well, I will let you pass, but I'm afraid you may be out of luck. What business do you have? I have to ask her something. Fair enough. Really? That? Wow, that's so... Okay. What do you mean we can't see the Queen Kulan? I fear she will have no time for you. Did I not say that she was preparing to present over the sacred ceremony? For the time being, take a look around town and see how it's blossomed since re uh, reviving the blessing of the Queen of the Heavens. Ooh, nice poncho, dude. So that's where those poncho people come from, too. Same place. Kind of. They come from Xanadu. Armored folk, I should say, but... Perdida, the lost land. Living in the land of the lost. Just living, living in the land of the lost. One of those is the right key. Oh my gosh, they have alpacas. Um... Oh, you can chart chest in a town. Oh, well, there's lovely. Oh, there's a swain thing. Um... Let's go do the swaying thing and more breeze cake. Lovely that. I don't think I got this on my last playthrough either. All right, let's. There we go. Now get into an area that looks logical. Doesn't always work, mind you. And then just walk slowly. A hot blooded badge. Sounds good. Why is that pot on the screen? Oh, because of the thing. Carnation cake. Oh, okay. Good talk. Let's go into this cat's cradle and get this chesticle. And it is a patty cake. Shut up, Trippy. I didn't mean to talk to you. Now we just have to find the baker's man. I'm sorry. You don't none of you deserve to hear that. This is like a pretty cool place. Got a very much, uh, ooh, handful of snowdrop bonbons. Okay, we can't do the purple chest. Not going to waste my time. Um, there were some things up here. A chest, and I swore I saw a pot as well. Fruit flan. Is there anything over yonder? A chart chest again. Oh, it was down yonder. Okay. Um, okay, there's a blue chest over here. Why they have locked chest is kind of beyond me because it's just like, if you're out of MP, you got to go to the, the, the place. 
bottle of pixie dew, the cat's cradle, that's what it's called, the inn, whichever naming convention you would like to use. Um, inside or outside? Outside. Lovely. Um, slice of game pie. And then one final thing, right? Yeah, okay, because, I mean, we can't do the purple chest yet, so. Yeah, we'll, um, could talk to the people, which makes sense to do. Oh my gosh, she's got a baby llama. Let's talk to you. Hola, look at her. She's very cute. Is she not? She's the cutest yaltaka of all time. Um, okay. I can't do a, a, a Mexican sounding voice when I want to. Even though I grew up with those. Wow, that's a face. Just. Wow, that's that is a face. Hi, old lady. Hey, 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 the gods. What is he thinking? Why is he letting the outsiders first? There was that giant man now. Giant man. Giant man. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. We're looking for Queen Kul um, Kulan. The guard says she wasn't somewhere around here. Hmm. So you have come to receive her blessings. Here we go. Flip it again. What's all this about sacred ceremonies and blooming blessings? Okay. Yeah? If I saw, come to Poredia, yet you know nothing of the blessings. Look deep into the eyes of the people here. See, you are blessed. Oh, we've seen them, all right. Those people aren't blessed. They're broken hearted. Seems like some blessings aren't worth counting. Eh? Por qué, sir? What did the man say? Yeah, yeah. Our hearts, they are broken. Pay no attention, cariño. Cariño. The blessings that we received are lifted fear the hearts. That is not a Mexican accent, but they're not Mexican either, so whatever. You know how many towns of the land that have wiped away from the map of the Dark Jin? But we can't just give in. You have to stand up to Star. Let me take a look at you, Nino. And you are a wizard, are you not? How can you know what they just have no magic, no powers, nothing but fear in your heart? But ma'am, you can't let your heart be broken just because it stops you feeling afraid. That's right. What's the point of blessings like that? You may as well make it, uh, have your heart break by Star. Broken by Star. Hmm. Nina, Nina Carino, Nina Carino. Oh, her name's Nina, not Nina. I thought it was she was saying Nina, like little girl. Nina Carino, it is nearly time for the ceremony to begin. It is finally time for you to join us. It is time for you to be blessed. I, I'm, I'm ready, yeah, yeah. Let, let us go then. You must not keep Queen Kaluan waiting. Man, those eye holes. I'm not sure Queen Kaluan's going to much help me, y'all. You know. If she's one handing out these so-called blessings. If we don't do something, that little girl will end up like everyone else. We have to go after them. Sounds like someone's broken hearted with a nightmare because it's a trend. Don't actually remember though. Alrighty. Well, how's our health looking? Because we're going to get into a boss fight. I'm certain of it. Oh, it's all one little girl. That's freaking terrifying for her. There, there, Nina. It will be over soon. There's a good girl, Carino. Yeah, yeah. Close on the we voice. We begin the ceremony. Everything is in order, Queen Kulan. It's her. The Queen of the Heavens. We found Kulan. Some say Kulan. He says Kulan. Fucking Oliver. Got a bad feeling about this. Get a lot of her eyes, will ya? They're all weird. Cheaper. She's broken hearted. Dom must have done this when he attacked Xanadu. So, now we know why she's been up to no good, handing out those so-called blessings. But if we don't do something, Nina wouldn't have just broken heart too. No, let me go. What is the matter, this child? I don't want to be blessed. I don't need it. I don't want to be broken hearted. Everyone is wrong. Nina, how dare you say such things in the presence of Queen Kulan? The child refuses my blessing, yet she leaves me no choice. For the benefit of this misguided child, a special ceremony is required. What do you mean to do to her? What is happening? Lon's nightmare, void of love. It's a flipping nightmare. What's he gonna do with this poor dog? Nina's in danger. We've gotta save her. Come on, everybody. Right. How long has it been since we had voice acting? It's Kublai, and that was short too. Um.
Yeah, raise all allies' magical attacks, and we'll just go nuts. Um, I do want to try Mighty Light. It's not very strong, but it did something. Uh, defend, right? Sounds like the right thing to do. Ooh, Steve looks cool when he defends. Oh, baby, Jesus. Uh, I'm having a bubble bath. Uh, we missed somehow. Even though we were like right. In oh, yeah, don't pick up the purple glims. Yes. Um. Yes, I think we all blocked it again. Mm-hmm. Oh, Yizik's just like, how small ball can I be? <gasps> Ooh, I want to do it with you. I want to do it with you because it's cool. And it's uh, splashed out, and I know it's a single target, and I know it's not just like some buff. Oh, time! Nice, that's some damages, my guys. Um... Just to make me feel better, though, let's restore the Royalis. Oh, you have a tweak. <gasps> I forgot Ane has a, an attack spell now. And with her insanely high magical s attack skill, that sounds lovely. Oh, my God. Damn it. I want to see how much damage she's doing against something she's super effective against. Oh, God. Well, 2,900 doesn't seem that great since we've done Toko Toko farming. <laughs> a cherub's wing. Wonder what that is. Three attack for Yizik. Ah. The Fampy's getting better, just like Phoenix promised. Yeah, yeah. Nina Carino, are you all right? Your Highness, get away from me. You disappoint <gasps> me. <gasps> Do not call him Lord. Where is he? Hear me, Queen of the Heavens. Huh? The power of huh? your nightmare huh? is as good as spent. Huh? Though you are a sage, it would seem you are all too human. Perhaps I was wrong to choose you as my representative. Lord Shada, I beg you, give me one more. It is too late. Shorn of the power of your nightmare, what use have I for one such as you? <gasps> Queen Kulan! Huh? Kubla! Ha! Sorry to keep you waiting. Kubla! <laughs> I see. The dregs of Xanadu arrive. How amusing. I look forward to seeing how much you fight you for this time. You think Queen Zulan is back to herself again? Kublé, how dare you! That is a base-born ruffian like you should presume to meddle in the affairs of a queen. Ah, my apologies, your highness. Yar, I never did know my place, did I? And the same goes for the rest of you. Business, can you unruly kind have with one such as I? You swore allegiance to Shadar. You called him Lord. I don't want to hear your side of the story, Kulan. You are a bitch. Charming, isn't she? It looks like the Queen of the Heavens is still very much heartbroken. Oh, it looks like a job for you, lad. Can you do for the Queen what you did for Tegri? Sure I can. I can mend the broken heart. There's no doubt about it. What's a high in humanity is missing the spot of love? And what's what makes the world go round in it? So it's love she needs, is it? Who do we know that's brimming with love? It's love. Yar, if it's love you after, I'm your man. You what? <laughs> You heard me. No man, you're no man has love for the woman more than I for the Kulan. You lo love Queen Kulan? Never. Haha, uh -huh, he loves her. He loves her. Now we know. Now we know. Enough of this nas nauseating talk of love. The very word turns my stomach. Ha uh ha, -huh, thus speaks the fire maiden I fell for. Tis music to me ears. Reiki, it must be love he's happy taking the kind of abuse of the chin. Yes, that's the story between Kublai and Queen Kulan. I need to know. Come down, will you? 
Never mind that now. All we need to know all we need to know is that Kublai has to share some of the love in his heart with Queen Kalan. Yeah, quite so. Have at it, lad. Well. Let's love you after look no further. No man uh, you already said that. Take heart! How do I how do I know when it's love? How can't well, I'm not doing it. I, I I haven't warmed up so I can't do the high note. I can't how do I Yeah, what's the key? How do I know when it's love? Oh I can't tell you by last fall and what the fuck am I doing? Uh, what am, I'm sorry. I promise I can sing better than that. I just actually have to fucking try. Also, I'm afraid of just like peeking the shit out of the mic so I limit my volume. When when you put that kind of uh, tension and strain on your vocal cords, it does restrict you from reaching higher notes. Uh, that's why when you see people like singing hard and high, and you see like their neck is strained, and you see like veins popping in their neck, there's a lot of mus musculature usage. Like it's like it's tight, like it's flexing. They're probably going to mess up or they're just working a lot harder than they need to to actually hit those high notes. Thus doing themselves and their voice a disservice. Is that, that is her hair, not a necklace. Wow. Wow, that looks uncomfortable. Cuss you, Kublai. I have no need for love from a baseball and ruffian such as herself. You know the drill, lady boy. Shuffle the love her way and she'll be rising rain. Give heart! I wonder what that final bit of um, art piece is. Oh, wow, hey, nice, um, I would say shoes, but those are your socks. Your toesies are cut out. <laughs> is that a ring on her toe? But, but, how? I'm, my heart. Ouble. Oh, your highness, you're back with us. So you are back with us. I spoke so harshly to you just now. Can you find in your heart to forgive me? Yaha! <laughs> Yara, think nothing of it. It was a pleasure to hear such rough and ready words from the mouth of a Noah-worn lady. Hey, do not mock me, Kublé. I'm just glad Queen Kulan's not heartbroken anymore. To the right, and I must say I'm impressed with the old uh, pirate face by here. There's two servants of heart we've given ourselves to us now. Huh, you're right. It seems all of his love for the Queen is a little bit special. Call me Queen. I'm unworthy of such a title. The skyborn Kingdom of Xandu was torn from the heavens and cast into the distant ocean. Not protect my realm. And then I came to this town and broke the hearts of its people. Truly, I'm no Queen. Your Highness, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. Or listen to me, the people of Xanadu saw you as a wise and just ruler. You carried out your duties both as queen and as a sage, and trained countless wizards. Have you forgotten all the good you've done? Kublai, what you say may be true, but it does not excuse the harm I've caused. I've inflicted so much suffering. Your Highness, we met the ghost of Lady of Hamlin, a soldier who once served you. She was one of the people who died in Xanadu, and she told us that so long as Queen Kulan was alive, there was hope for her people. She spoke of me. She spoke of hope. Hey, look around you. The people of this town may be brokenhearted, but at least they're alive. Your Highness. Your Highness, let us return to the town to his former self. It may be take time, but it's, I know you can do it. He may not be queen any longer, but we still stand beside you. And you are not alone, and who's to say you can't rebuild Xanadu? We stand beside you still? Does that mean you're from Xanadu? Oh, Kublai, thank you. Thank you, everyone. All right. I mean, he's gotta be, unless he's just some, you know, mercenary. I cannot give into despair. I must become someone who can inspire hope in others. That is my duty. You aren't the only great sage who is led astray. My father and Marcusain suffered too. Yes, and all they helped him just to help you. Uh, just like he helped you. And now you're all fighting fit and battle can- and can- The battle against evil can finally begin in earnest. Wait a minute. There's something I've been dying to ask. I need to know how long something's been going on between Queen Kaloon and Kublai. I mean, a queen in a sky pride, it's so romantic. God, do you have to be so nosy? Who plays known as feared as the king of the Sky Pirates, but there's more to him than meets the eye. Ah, uh, right, right, right. I'm out of many talents, and being a, the fearless leader of a band of swashbuckling Sky Pirates is just one of them. Who plays also serves as the commander of the Sanduvian Airborne Division, in which role he fought for Queen Kulan. That is epic. So he became a pirate, probably, I'm certain, after the fall. I've asked, I can speak for myself, you slack jawed cur. You were commander in Xanadu? Indeed he was. Since the time of the Wizard Wars, Xanadu has, av has avoided conflict. But neutrality cannot be maintained without significant military power. Kublai's force formed part of that power. Oh, I get it. The lowly servant who ended up falling head over heels for the lovely queen. That's a classic. Swain, 
do you always have to be so blunt? Yeah, but it's true. I've watched her. I've watched over her since she was but a girl, and I can't say I don't feel for her. But I am a mere soldier, and the knot can be done about that. Gee, that must be tough. That was then. Things have changed. Ch changed? Or how, how exactly? Did you not hear my words earlier? I am a queen no longer. There are no ranks or barriers between to keep us apart. C can it be? Do you truly mean? I have been quite clear. Please do not make me spell it out. Spell it out. I are, uh, um, I... Come on, Kublai, don't be so slow. Flippin' heck, man. Put it on, on misery, won't you? How many times are you going to go and make a poor woman say it? Still your chattering tongues or I'll cut them off. You stand before the king of the sky pirates. Yeah, all right, all right. It's her face. Benevolent grace of the queen of the heavens heart was unlocked the story of the wizard's companion. How the little girl became queen. Parts of the people of Pridia have been restored. Young Nina, you have been terribly afraid. I apologize most humbly for my actions. Do not worry, Queen Kulan. I'm, I'm happy that you have become so kind and gentle. Everything in Peridia is so bright and happy now. We will never give in to Shada. Your words are music to my ears. Truly, children like you are the uh, bearers of hope. There are hope. Bearers of hope, the hope of a brighter future. God, I need to stop recording. I can't read now. We who are old enough... We who are old enough know better than to choose the path to cowardice. All we wanted was to be free from fear and to protect them from the truth. Well, that's done is done and all that. I just hope that the Rod of Shaddaa is not still hanging about waiting to pounce like. I know what I must do. My duty to protect the people of the Peridia from Shaddaa. I vow never to let the dark despair engulf this town again. I will make amends for all I've done. Gracias, your highness. And there's been... Arr, then it seems I have no choice. I'll throw me lot in with you, your highness. We'll protect this pun puny village together. No, Kublai. There are other duties to which you must attend. It's not only the town that must be protected from the pole of dark Shaddaa's... Uh, Dark Pole Shaddaa, with your airship, you must travel freely around our world. Do you understand? That is what I ask of you. Or I do in that. Only too well. No, but you only just got together. Kublai, though you may be apart, we will always be together as long as we share the same goal. Yar, you're not wrong, your highness. You always did have a way with words. It's like everything's worked out then, but... Oh, but before I forget, there was a reason we came here to, in the middle of nowhere. I'm aware of this. You can sense Mornstar, does it not? Yes, we're trying to restore its power. We did manage to find the three magic stones, but even Marcusan would um could reunite them without the wand. Or with the wand. It was it was beyond Marcusan's power, you say? How could that be? Tell me more. Well, we he speculated that it might be because we brought Mornstar here from the past. Hmm, a master wizard who can manipulate time itself. I was curious about what his intentions could be. But I shall ponder that in my leisure. Our priority is to put the stop to Mons uh, to put a stop to Star's plans. I'll perform the required ritual without delay. Heidi, sounds like old Kulan knows it. Uh, Heidi, looks like sounds like old Kulan knows the, uh, what needs to be doing about the monster to back to pieces together. That's handy. Now, young Oliver, I shall require some assistance in this undertaking. Are you willing to help me? Sure, Queen Kulan. Just tell me what I have to do. Fine response. The ritual must be performed outside where you are. When you are ready. Come and see me. I shall be waiting. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll have to wait for the next episode to see how we do this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. And the next episode, we will ask Glon to restore Mornstar's power. But until then, do take care and bye-bye for now.